Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Marina's Helpline. Today we are here with a new topic that is International Convention for the Control and Management of Ships, Ballast Water and Sediments. Before proceeding to this topic, we should know why this convention came into action. So we'll discuss some of the basic of this convention. Now first we'll go through the introduction. This convention was adopted in February 2004. It was forced in September 2017. As we know that increasing in sea trade, the huge amount of ballast water is being exchanged. Therefore, due to that, the local species used to get transferred. This could cause ecological problem, economical problem and health hazard. So this convention came into action to avoid such problems. Now, the aim or the purpose to introduce this is to minimize and ultimately eliminate the transfers of harmful aquatic organisms and pathogen through control and management of ships, ballast, water and sediment. This is applicable to all vessels except water ships not designed to carry ballast water like passenger ships, then the ships with permanent ballast water in sealed tank, warships and the ships only used for non-commercial purpose. Now friends, in this convention, there are five sections. Number A is general provision. Number B is management and control requirement. Number C is special requirement in certain areas. Number D is standards for ballast water management. D e is survey and certifications. So friends, we will not discuss all of them in detail. We will only discuss Section D that is standard for ballast water management. This is the important aspect as per the MEO class 4 exams. So friends in this D section there are two standards that is number one is D1 standards which is ballast water exchange standard in this 95 percentage of volumetric exchange of water takes place. So there are three methods sequential method, flow through method and dilution method. In sequential method the tank is first made empty that is up to 95% and then a new ballast water is being put into it. But using this method lots of hull stresses are being produced so mostly they are not being preferred. Second method is flow through method. In this the fresh ballast water is pumped from top and the stored ballast water is discharged from the bottom and in this method the pump is run three times the tank capacity so that maximum 95 percentage of ballast water is being exchanged third is dilution method this is also the same method but in this the water is being pumped from the top and three times the tank capacity volume the displacement of water is being taken place now friends in all three methods the water which is to be exchanged is done 200 nautical mile from the nearest land and at 200 meter depth but wherever it is not possible then it can be done 50 nautical mile from the nearest land and depth of 200 meter so friends number 2 d2 is the performance standard so i have listed the five requirements which is to be met before the ballast water is being discharged to sea now we will see the treatment for the ballast water so there are mechanical system chemical system and physical system in mechanical there is a filtration cyclonic separations electromechanical separation in, in chemical system there number one is the disinfectant biocides second is the electrolyte chlorination then we will go for physical separation that is uv light cavitation ultrasound and deoxygenation Thank you friends, I hope that you like this video, we will see you in next video. Keep watching and please subscribe and like this channel.